So I have another chance to interview one of the participants of this exhibition, and this is Bill Kafka. And Bill represents sculptures. And these sculptures look absolutely, I would say, uh, magical to me. And they look uh, like they're coming from different universes, especially this one. And the other one, if you want to just tell a little bit about how you come about to be a sculptress and what inspires you, maybe let's start how you become a sculptor. Well, it's an interest I've had for a good number of years. And I thought I, when I retired, I want to see if I could do you know a little bit more. So uh, I've been doing this now, going to uh, sculpture, stone sculpture workshops for about 15 years, periodically. And then as I retired, I decided that maybe I should be able to have more time to do you know this type of work. So all of the stone that you see on these two are from Zimbabwe, Africa, and uh, I prefer this stone only because of its, uh, its workability, it's about mid-range in the hardness scale of rock, uh, not, it's not uh, soapstone soft and it's not uh, granite hard, so it's all still usable uh, and, and uh, workable with uh, hand tools. So, these, uh, because it's from the Grand Dyke in Zimbabwe, the uh, the coloration of the stone is very, very unique. And you never know what you're going to end up uh, getting until you really start looking at the stone, uh, feeling it, uh, trying to get some type of dialogue with it. And that sounds like strange, but somehow when you stare at something for any length of time, sometimes you're inspired to do something with it that might be a little bit different than what you think. So, these I started off, this is very kind of a rectilinear uh, springstone, or not springstone, this is uh, serpentine, this is also serpentine here. Uh, this form of the rock was around about, about this high, I decided that I'm going to uh, make it uh, uh, upright and the curvature of the stone, this was already there and I thought well look, maybe I'll develop a uh, a shape and an inspiration from that uh, from that shape. So you develop Bill almost like a dialogue with the with the stone, right? Well, it's hard to kind of express what you see. Is it, you're holding it. You see uh, negative and positive spaces. You see holes. You see cracks. You try to say, well, look, what can you be that's abstract? Uh, I, I don't necessarily like doing something that's representational as some some artists uh, do. But these can be interpreted by the viewer as whatever type of. That's object. right. Yes. And uh, for me. It's I like doing it. Um, I try to do a few good pieces every year and I keep adding to it. And uh, part of the uh, studio tour here in Bancroft helps me kind of show the public on some of the possibilities of what you can do as, uh, as a school. So you combine your Canadian uh, talent with the uh, African material? Per perfect fit, right? <laughs> uh, the, African, uh, the African sculptures are just a uh, one uh, world-class uh, artist, and uh, I think the most I get from what I see uh, is, is really their technique and how they interpret the stone, how they look at it, and uh, you just, uh, it just... It's just un 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 unbelievable when you see some of the work that they're doing. But this is my kind of uh, North American interpretation of what I think that I could bring. Uh, you know, you know, when you said that, you know what comes to my mind because we live in Canada, this multi multicultural society, and here, you know, we combining materials that come from the you know a completely different continent, and you as an artist just bring life into it, which is absolutely beautiful. So if anybody would like to find more of your art, well, will be the good uh, place to look. Yeah, I think the studio tour in Bancroft uh, held in the last two weeks of uh, September in the fall. Uh, I will have my studio will be open. Uh, I'll have a good number of pieces that are displayed outdoors and indoors. Uh, my space is also being shared with another artist and also a uh, wood turner. 
so there's going to be three of the Studio Two artists uh, very close to where I am. Wonderful collective uh, experience, right? Yeah, Beautiful. So it's okay for you uh, that I place this video on my YouTube channel, Your Shout and About. Wrong with it. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, and I wish you all the luck, and hopefully see you in September. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks.